Hello. So today in this video, I will discuss about the PHP Super Global. This is again one of the very very important topic for web applications. Whenever you are using the PHP. So first things, what is the meaning of the Super Global and actually what is this? So super Global is just like an array in PHP, but it uses the predefined associative array. That's why it is called the super global variables and that allow the programmer to easily access HTTP headers, query string parameters and other comment, other again the more again the needed informations. So here again one more thing, this is always again you can use the scope and always whatever if you want you can define also. So that's why it is called the super global. So there are the two super global is very popular and i think uh, you already know about one is called the get method and then this is the post method so same here dollar underscore get and dollar underscore post dollar underscore get and dollar underscore post arrays are the most important super global variables in php and they allow the programmer to access the data sent by the client in a query string Take example here again form name again the form action which page you are sending the information and method equal to get so here you have you can use dollar underscore get whenever you are passing the value so how you can pass the value by the name so name equal to you name and name equal to pass is there so you see here echo dollar underscore get you name and echo dollar underscore get pass then we'll get again the whatever the value you are writing in that input box so here you see the input box first value is the sub name is there ricardo so ricardo will become for the username and password is the pw01 so that will come for the another one so in that way HTML client, then the browser clients, HTTP request and the PHP server. In this direction only again all of the information is the passing with the help of the dollar underscore get and dollar underscore get request uh, again the parser query string into the dollar get and post request are parsed into the dollar underscore post array. So get request dollar underscore get and post request are dollar underscore post means here whenever you are specifying method equal to get then means dollar underscore get and whenever you are uh, uh, specifying inside the form method equal to post then we have to use the dollar underscore post array okay and uh, what is the main difference uh, post means again you can post the information together but the get again whenever you are by using the uh, using the get array then the information will pass along with the url that is again the common difference between the post and so take again the very simple example here so you can again uh, suppose that you have a html file form x and x and name is same page name they are writing and method equal to the post okay so in the php tag we have to check which method they apply and then we have to check they already send the value data or not so first condition if dollar underscore server request underscore method equal to equal to post so first we check that one key that method is really post or not okay so if suppose that that is the post then we have to check if is set dollar underscore post method and you name you name is the username something input box whatever name you are giving so that data is there or not and depends if you want to check both again data are there or not is set dollar underscore post password again okay so is set means here we are checking the data sent by the client to the server or not and again dollar underscore post here that defined that is the based upon the which method you send post mid post method and get means get method get method value is always that is passing along with the url post method that value is not available in the url so is set again i can uh, say in the different way is set to check the query string data but if you are talking about the array is set we are checking the key value is available in the your uh, uh, what is called that key value is available in your 
particular key value is available in the array or not in the array but here we are taking is state to check the query string data is available so normally these are the general format of the doing any information uh, designing any web application so suppose that you have a login page so login page you are putting the username password and submit so once you are submitting this information we are sending to the which method you are sending so here we are sending to the some method get other by post depends so that information we are sending to the login.php and there again we are checking again this value is available in the table or not if everything is there credential is right from the database then if you are redirecting to this page to the another page otherwise if this is credential is not matching in the database then we have to display the error message user and password is not available matching otherwise some kind of the any error message you can display this is the general format of the any web applications this is i'm talking about the login page same path same fashion same pattern is available for the all of the other again the so you see here username password again the same so they will check it again the method is set method this username password is there or not if it is there then you display the sub message otherwise you can hide the your sometime one more again the way is there uh, similar kind of the take example for the checkbox so similar kind of the that data you are sending again together okay so name will be the day 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 only for everyone because the similar kind of the value which day you are the free monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday so all name are the same only but here we have to define that name should be the array type so how you so name equal to day and then we have to give the bracket red color symbol you see what how they written there so input type equal to checkbox and name equal to day and then again you can give the curly bracket big bracket again open and close that means that indicate this name are the array types so similar kind of the data we are showing multiple value again it will be stored so in that time this value we have to access otherwise stored with the help of the for each you take here example so what happened there the name was the day one the name was the day and we are using the which method we are using here a uh, get method so you can see here dollar underscore get day as dollar d so dollar d is working as a value here whenever i discuss the array again the iterations matter so for each again the one of the ways there na? so one way is there array again the which value we are storing in the array and as value so by as value means here dollar d then you echo dollar d you can display the all of the whatever you are selecting in the php same way whenever you are talking about the query string in the link sometime what happen in the web page you have a multiple links so along with the links you are interested to pass the some certain value okay so suppose that you have a list of the book links and you want to uh, segregate the page for the each books okay so what happened you see here one two three four books names are there so one day i'll click in the mis so you should go to the mis particular page database processing it should go to the particular page like that kind of the link i want to so see here again along with the page name uh, i mean the file name question mark and you want to pass the some particular value also so this value is again the along with the some variables we have to pass so that is called the query string so in that case you have to use the get method and this value is again either in encrypted format or by decrypted format it is available in your url this well clear and uh, sometime what happen you have to trust the user input so checking the user input for the incorrect or the missing information uh, sometimes you can refer to the sanitizing the user input that concept is called you want to check the user input for incorrect or missing information so that is called the sanitizing the user okay so here again uh, my sql i underscore real underscore escape strings 
so this is again the one thing is very very important i can say if you want to uh, take the user again any kind of the special character and other information from the user then we have to use the mysqli underscore dl underscore escape underscore strings and then again dollar link dollar link is again the database connection i will discuss about all of these things in my next next video how to connect the database also and so in that way you can any user input information along with the special character you can take it okay and the same way is underscore int is underscore int so this will again the checking the processing as a normal way otherwise it will display the message else part any kind of the uh, attack otherwise some kind of the problems is there in your same way one more thing is the very very important that is called the dollar underscore server that means the uh, what is called associative where it contains the http request header and configuration options for the php so means here if you want to display the some information fetch the some information regarding the server so in that case you have a inbuilt function in the php dollar underscore server and along with that one we have to pass the some parameter then we can fetch the information regarding the server okay and this is again the case sensitive uh, uh, all of the key name so dollar underscore server all are the capital and server underscore name inside the double quote we have to write inside the bracket that means to display the server name by default the server name is the local host same way dollar underscore server 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 underscore software so it will display the server software name same way remote address addr that display the ip address again so dollar underscore server remote add clear so you see here request underscore time also is one option is there http underscore host is again there http underscore accept underscore encoding so that will display the encoding again techniques which encoding techniques you are doing and http underscore connection that will give the live status of your again the server your connection is live otherwise closed clear so request method request underscore method that why we discussed in the previous two previous slides now and the server protocol server underscore protocol so you see in this slides again here request underscore method server underscore protocol http underscore host means host name and http underscore accept underscore encoding then request underscore time http underscore user underscore agent and then http underscore uh, Connection. Yeah, HTTP underscore user, user underscore agent means the which browser you are using. Browser that is called the user agents. Okay. And the server underscore name again the server name, server underscore address, and server underscore port is again important. Default by default again whenever connecting through the HTTP, the default port will be the either the 80, otherwise 443. HTTPS is for the 443, and HTTP is the 80. Okay. So in this page one question is important for your final examination they will ask explain the any dollar score server otherwise server inbuilt functions method in php so any four and five they have to explain so this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten this is available in the textbook any of these contents are from the textbooks only okay so this information kindly keep in your mind so same things server information key server name server address document rules it is again the important it document root means the location of the your file in the web server where you are keeping your information in your server that is called the document root so tells the location from which you are currently running your script again the all of the php code and a script names also give actually which script you are just running so request method returns the request method that are used to access the page that is the get head post pot all four are there remote address key returns the ip address of the requester http user agents i told which operating system and which browser you are trying to using and http effort that contain the address of the page that referred us to this one is through a link okay so these are the very simple example for the example and one more thing is the security is very very important so sometime uh, 
HTTP referrer that will not give the, again the proper information and user inform user and disco agent also can lie about the operating system and browser the client is using this is also the these two are the important thing sometimes this you can again the hide because due to the security reasons so these are the informations regarding the PHP super globals and the server function in PHP so next Again, I will discuss another part of the as per your syllabus. So, thanks for your patience.